Welcome to LA Interview. My name is Joseph R. Millis. This week we continue with part two of An Kang Vu Kong's interview. Kang is a multi-talented, prolific artist that creates masterpieces in painting, sculpture, jewelry design, graphics, and other media. That's An Kang Vu Kong next on LA Interview. <music> about whose work I, I admire the most, then the list is very long. For example, in painting, uh, in realism, I like Andrew Wines. For abstraction, I like Robert Motherwell. And I absolutely adore the paintings by Edwin Dickinson, especially his uh, quick oil sketches, um, and also uh, Ellsworth Kelly. For printmaking, beside the old masters, like Rembrandt and Goya, right. I love the, uh, the prints of Leonard Baskin and Gabor Petterly. Mm -hmm. And also the great the great work of etchings by uh, the Swedish artist Anders Zorn. That's quite a list. <laughs> uh, also the woodcuts by French artist Felix Vallotton. I see. And in sculpture, Eric Gill comes to mind, uh -huh. and so is Brancusi, Noguchi, and I also appreciate the steel sculptures by David Smith and uh, more recently Richard Serra. Wow, that's quite an impressive list. Uh, you work in a variety of mediums. Uh, can you sum up what you, what you have done, what you've worked on? Yes, uh, I started out as a printmaker. Printmaker. So printing and drawings are very important to me. Sure. And. Uh, in the 80s, I uh, also took up uh, letterpress printing oh, with wow. typesetting. And, typesetting, uh, interesting. And I have published a, a handmade book. Really? Okay. Very and, interesting. And, uh, with paintings, uh, is a great medium. And uh, I have painted in watercolor, egg tempera, <laughs> acrylic, and oil. Oh, wow. And uh, also, uh, sculpture, I have sculpted using wood, stone, uh, metal, and plaster. Wow. Uh, I also, in the 90s, I devoted two year, two, over two and a half years uh, doing collages, and that's a great way to study compositions. And then I also created um, light sculptures right. uh, using brass and stained glass. And, uh, and at one point, and I'm still doing it now, I designed and uh, make jewelry. Jewelry, uh, that's right. In, in silver and semi-precious stone. That's incredible. It's hard to believe that one individual can do so much, uh, uh, accrue such a body of work in a lifetime. Uh, why do you work in so many different media? I suppose because I can. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to be able to understand the possibilities and potentials in many different art disciplines. Right. Just like a musician who can play several instruments, right. 
And I don't think it's that rare in the art world, where an well, artist can, I don't know. <laughs> can do many different uh, media, uh, such as Picasso. And, and the quality of his work overall is quite respectable. Yeah, so is yours. I mean, thank so, you. No, absolutely. Um, how do you sell your work? I don't. You don't. What do you mean you don't? All this wonderful art, you don't sell it. I mean, I don't. I don't know a thing about sales, and I don't know how to promote myself. Well, if there's anyone out there watching this who would like to. Uh, Get in touch with this incredible artist here uh, and buy a few pieces. Uh, he's, you have paintings, sculpture, art, uh, print work. I mean, it, it, the list is endless. I mean, uh, just seeing, uh, walking around this apartment, seeing everything you've done, it's, it's already incredible. That's the end of our show. But once again, we'd like to show you more images of Kang's beautiful artwork. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with the conclusion of Ankang Vukong's interview.